it's it's really deep why I'm so guarded. If you want me to break it down, I just feel like people are falling in love with a side of me that I don't like about myself. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like the music that I make now is a coping mechanism for me. I have a lot of rage and anger inside of me. And the way I deal with it is by making music and saying what I'm saying and da 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 da, which I'm not lying in my bars. However, I feel like if I want to inspire women, I don't want to inspire them to be fighting or behaving outrageously because it, it hasn't helped me in my everyday life. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I've pushed away a lot of people. You know, it's hindered me at times. I isolate myself because I don't want to let people in and then they go away the moment I lose my temper. So when I'm seeing girls tweeting and saying, Shabo makes me want to ride out, Shabo makes me want to fight, I appreciate the support, but that's not what I want them to be like because I don't even want to be like that. And it's something that I'm working on. So I don't want to show too much and I don't want to behave a certain type of way. Like I'm very conscious about, you know, I don't put myself in situations where people challenge me. You know, I don't do crazy stuff because that's not the narrative I want to keep pushing. I want to grow as a person and I want people to, you know, I want to inspire them to be bosses, assertive, independent. You know what I'm trying to say? So hopefully when my music comes out, people are going to see that side of me really exists. Yeah, that's difficult because it's, it's still a part of you. Yeah, it's a part of me, yeah. but it's a part of me because you have to understand black girls really mess with me and they really like me, but they like a part of me that I don't like. Do you get what I'm mm-hmm. trying to say? So it's very difficult for me to, you know, be acting crazy and fighting because I, <laughs> I'm telling you in real life, it doesn't help you. Does fighting help you in your everyday life? Do you, do you solve everything by fighting? So why would I encourage girls to be like that? But I think that's, that's, you know what the crazy thing is, is that we're in this weird generation where even us, what you're trying to get away from, mm. the other side that you probably may want to show, that may not be as received as much as the, the boys. The could. angry. Yeah. It's because it's we're, we're in this generation where it's like, it's rebellious now, isn't it? Rebellious. Yeah. The more crazy you are, the more, the more you sell. Yeah. I don't think so. I think if there's there's different markets for things. Mm. And, you know, I'm happy people listen to my music and people relate to what I'm saying, but there's different sides to me. I'm more than just one emotion. What kind of sides are we not seeing? And also, why have you not shown those sides as of yet? Is it just to wait for the project? Because if it's there, if you're showing this side, why not the other side as well? It's not just because I'm waiting for the project. It's just, like I said, I'm I'm just focused on releasing music. For me, I'm not an attention seeker. I don't care about clout. I don't care about being famous. In fact, I, I, I the, the thought of being famous terrifies me. Do you understand? I've been bait since I was 14 years old and I'm 24. So that's a very long time for people to know who you are and you to walk on the road and shave all your done. Now. I don't want all of that. I isolate myself. I'm always in my house. If I'm not in my house, I go to studio. If I'm not in studio, I'm at a video shoot. I just feel like now is not the right time. And, you know, I want to show the other sides to me, but that's why I'm doing this interview right now. And, you know, I want people to know, because I feel like a lot of people support me because they remember me from 10 years ago and they they, they love the woman that I've become. I feel like they've watched me grow, grow up in a sense. But I want people to understand just because you come from the hood Mm-hmm. doesn't mean you're limited, but I think people make assumptions because I don't show my personality. They think I'm uneducated. They think I don't lack substance. Do you get what I mean? And, you know, I think that's because of stereotypes associated to people that come from the hood anyway. They think you're uneducated. They think you can't articulate yourself. They think, you know, you're rugged. Mm-hmm. But that's far from the truth. That's far from the truth. And, you know... When I talk to young people, because I did a, in, I, I did something for my boy the other day mm-hmm. called Step Now, and it, it's about supporting the youth. And when I have conversations with them, they think the only way you can make it out of the hood is by being a footballer or a musician. But I'm just like, wait a minute. There's a lot more to <laughs> it. There's a lot more to it. Like, I actually went and got an education. I went to uni, and that's what I'm trying to show people. Like, you can be whatever you want to be. Don't get me wrong, it's difficult because of the assumptions and the stereotypes associated to you before you even open your mouth. Because people think of me a certain type of way before I even open my mouth. Do you get what I mean? And there's systems put in place to oppress us. In the grand scheme of things, we're inspiring a generation. Do you get what I'm trying to say? 
But then that's why I put pressure on myself because I don't want to inspire women to be angry. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I don't want to inspire them to be like me because, like I said, it's hindered me. It doesn't do nothing for you in reality. Mm. For those who don't know, this is Shabo, a UK artist who raps and is known for her aggressive persona and music. I listened to this interview how she doesn't want black women and females to incorporate that side of her, but I say she's a hypocrite. You chose to market yourself as angry and masculine female who likes to fight. You chose to portray that behaviour to the same black women you supposedly care about. A lot of these artists are hypocrites and liars and they always want to sell this narrative of how they're caring and want to build the community and meanwhile they'll play into the same stereotype which is destroying the black community and say it's not about money. The interviewer asked her would she be received more if she portrayed a unaggressive emotion instead would it benefit her the same way? The answer she gave was yes, but that's a lie because you wouldn't be doing it if that was true. You wouldn't thrive from being known as an aggressive female who likes to fight in South London. And what her female listeners don't ever do is draw a connection with how they will use you and your corrupted perception of success to make money from. It's too late for Shabo to say you don't want to show too much this is the identity that you've made for yourself in the music industry and for some reason she wants to act as if she cares these artists don't care about black women these artists don't care about being role models they only care about the money or how much they can make more and as long as being aggressive and angry is going to keep getting her bank she'll keep making those music, regardless of the damage it's doing to the generation. But they will do what they do best, deceive people. The state of black females today is why she's even making those type of music. She knows this is where their state of mind is and will continue to feed them this lifestyle because they're buying into it. The side she wants to show but doesn't is because there's no money in it. The good side, the woman side, the side respective and conducive is not going to open doors in the music industry for her. So in her art, she markets being aggressive as it's what females are listening to today. Switching it up isn't something she wants to do. Females want to be a baddie, not a wife. Females want to party, not stay at home. Let's cut this innocent act. Being famous never terrified her. This is a horrible attempt to want to appear humble, want to appear low-key, whilst trying to be a rapper. Everything she says contradicts her actions. And this is why females are so messed up. Because these are the people they're esteeming to be. These are the people they look up to. And all Shabo is doing and the rest of the females making music is selling the worst side of themselves. All these black girls are buying into these characters they're selling to them, then adopting it in their mentality. In 2023, it's females like her who are the reason why people still believe black people aren't educated. If you really were those things that she described and had any real substance, then would see your life have more depth than making music about fighting and being that chick. All those conversations she'd had with the youth is nothing more than building a good resume and reputation to help flourish her career. Everything she's telling others not to do, she's doing it. You'll tell youth to seek outside of the entertainment industry while you're in it yourself. All the things you could have been or could have done, instead you chose to be a female rapper who likes to fight because it gets you more money. Just get real with yourself. 
Just be real with why you're doing it, which is for money, instead of acting as if you have any real standards because in the grand scheme of things, you are inspiring a generation, you're corrupting a generation. I'm your hostess, Reminent Princess. These are my last thoughts. A lot of these entertainers do not care about anyone else, only their money. But they'll deceive others to think it's more than that. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.